was on July 17 last year when we opened the MNSA executive class that would leave a historical imprint in the institutional life of our alma mater. I joined you virtually that day, conveying the message of hope for the new program, and I ended my message by posing a challenge to the carefully selected 55 individuals to give life to the shared dream of the MNSA alumni to build a critical mass of national security administrators who would influence policy and decision-making across all sectors as strategic players in nation building. Today, we celebrate another milestone of the members of the Master in National Security Administration, MNSA Executive Course 01. As the leader of this academic institution, I am proud to see everyone working together to successfully execute the MNSA Executive Course. I am happy to see that everyone is committed to pursuing our mandate of preparing our future defense and security leaders. And as to now focus on your challenging roles as leaders, allow me to end my message with a quote by John C. Maxwell, and I quote, A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. They say that the wisdom you gain in the halls of academia proves worthwhile when used to improve the lives of others. The moment we submitted our research proposals a little over a year ago, we knew that this scholarship was granted to us not for an added title or degree, but for an opportunity to affect better change in any way we can. Our graduation today calls us to forge on and serve the cause we all committed to our people. The MNSA Executive Class 01 stands proud and strong today as we did over the past year. From the sleepless nights we endured for our thesis and papers, to balancing our coursework and full-time jobs, to the back-breaking field training exercise last month, it is our unfaltering will and courage that kept us going. That and loads of coffee to stay awake. I thank you, my dear classmates, I love you so much, for being a source of inspiration through the year. For the camaraderie best exemplified when asking our professors to extend our deadlines. And for your generosity in lending your expertise and ideas to the class. You are the best in the country, the whole country. like to commend all the other officers and my Matatag classmates for exuding extraordinary resilience and hard work to make it to the finish line. Also the balance between academic rigors and praxis of the dimension of national security and how PISTEM was skillfully tied together. Maraming salamat and I am in great resolve to hold the Matatag class together. Wherever we are and wherever we will be in the future.
humbled to be part of this first batch of EMNSA graduates in awe during the boot camp of the stature, influence, and accomplishments of my classmates. Imagine sitting in class with people that you only see on TV or hear in the radio. It made me strive harder and do better. For the past 12 months, our professors have taught us hundreds of theories on NSA. For sure, I will not remember everything. But I will fondly remember the passionate discussions during debates and during the colloquium. Laugh about the FTX experiences and antics of Yuri and appreciate the NSDS in Boracay that Chris led. I will surely miss the leadership, competitiveness, grit, and heart of this class. Hats off to the men and women who did ordinary things extraordinarily well. It is amazing how much people get done if they do not worry about who gets the credit. For me, that sum up the kind of relationship we have in our class. I am grateful and honored to have worked side by side each and every one of you. Acquaintances, turned classmates, and now turned friends. Leading a team of leaders entails a lot of things. But for me, the more important work is finding a meaningful purpose. During that time as well, I could still recall, I was also having difficulty balancing the demands of work and studies, which I, I'm sure all of us can relate to it. But you know what? Some of you made me realize that I am not alone in this journey. That I have it in me and that you are willing to help and support me. And here I am, an hour away from officially and proudly attaching MNSA to my name. And thanks to all of you. Thank you for staying true to our Ohana spirit, for staying committed to support each other so we can make the most out of this program for breathing life to the mandate and vision of the college, and for never ever forgetting to celebrate wins and have fun in the process. Diba, Lala? Thanks to all our mentors, to the college, to Deputy Speaker Lauren Ligarda, to Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, for giving me, giving us, the Matatag class, the opportunity to become better leaders. This is not the end of our journey together. I look forward to working with all of you, bringing with me memories. I can proudly say that I am one proud MNSA Executive Class 01 Matatag Mista. Mabuhay ang NDCP, mabuhay ang MNSA, mabuhay ang Matatag, mabuhay tayong lahat. Salamat po. Honor being elected president 
by the class composed of public and private personalities who are among the best and the brightest of minds with unsaleable integrity to it. We have developed a strong bands that will outlast the test of time because together we hurdled the academic rigors and praxis from the best of mentors in the national securities. It was our greatest honor to be part of this journey. On behalf of Matataglas, I say to all of you, mission accomplished and my snappy salute. join hands in prayer to celebrate another milestone in our institution. Let us all continue to be grateful for the blessings that we have been receiving for the gifts of life, livelihood, and as you have been mentioning so many times this morning, friendship. This is the essence of our gathering today, believing that excellent education in National Security Administration is a significant investment of the Department of National Defense. Continuing to fulfill this mandate, the National Defense College of the Philippines has painstakingly selected the finest candidates for the privilege of undertaking the MNSA executive course for academic year 2020-2021. It makes me happy that despite the difficulties and rigors of the academic discipline, you have completed, completed the course. You have also hardened the grueling training to prove yourselves worthy of being reserve officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. I wish you the best as you live up to the nation's expectations to be exemplars of moral courage in defending our dignity, protecting our national security and interests, and contributing to our nation's peace and development. Muli, malugod ko kayong binabati sa inyong malawalhating pagtatapos. With open arms, I welcome you to the One Defense Team. My warmest greetings to the successful graduates of the Master in National Security Administration Executive Program Class 01. I commend you for achieving this milestone that will allow you to contribute in our efforts to better uphold our country's defense and security. I trust that you will apply your learnings for the advancement of the institutions and the communities that you serve. Congratulations, magbuhay kayong lahat.